Welcome back to Sound 101. Today's episode is a unique experience because we are on location at the gun range. And today's episode is all about how to record a gunshot. Just like that intro graphic said, this episode is all about how to record sound effects of guns. And today we've actually got Staff Sergeant Jones with us, who is actually going to be doing all of the actual handing of the firearms. One of the most important things is when you're trying to record sound effects, have someone skilled to do it. So that's what, I'm not gonna touch a thing. I'm gonna touch microphones. He's gonna touch the guns. And let's go over some quick tips real fast on what we're looking for for a good sound effect. Number one thing we actually are looking for today is clean sound effects. They're almost like in a vacuum. So when you listen back to it on your computer and your post editing software, it sounds like just one gunshot that doesn't have a lot of the room and echo. But we're also gonna record a couple that do have the room and echo because guns are shot indoors too in movie sets and it should sound exactly like that. And that way you don't have to do all that extra work with your post production and all your reverb. The other things to really think about today is we're gonna be very organized because a lot of these sound effects are gonna sound very similar to each other when we go into post. So throughout the day, I'm gonna be changing the user ID on the HDTX system that we're recording with to make sure the user ID matches the gun that we are using. So when post, we know, is it a nine millimeter or is it a 45 caliber? I mean, these are gonna sound very different, but when you're in post, you're not gonna remember which one's which. So being sure to keep our metadata clean all day is the key to recording gun sound effects. Remember when you're working around guns, safety comes first. That means eyes and ear protection too. When you're actually ready to set your microphone, there's two things you need to think about. One is the distance of your microphone to the gun, and two, the direction that your microphone is pointing from. Is it aimed from behind the gun, in front of the muzzle, 90 degrees to the gun itself? The same gun can sound significantly different depending on where you actually position your microphone. So get creative and experiment. Today we've chosen a cine arm with a super clamp to position our microphone pointing from the rear. Make sure your team knows where you plan to place the microphone, and if you place a mic in front of a gun, be certain the shooter is aware that the gun is unloaded and secured before you step down range. For our own setup, we are using the Deity S-Mic 2 for its narrow pickup pattern, and the HETX as our recorder with a built-in limiter to prevent clipping. Here's a rundown of our settings. So one of the other big tips that we can talk about today is we're gonna actually do a rehearsal with the gun, one or two shots to get our levels correct before we do anything like long takes. Last thing you wanna do is waste a lot of ammunition and a lot of recording time on takes that are nothing but just clipped audio. So rehearse, one shot, check your levels. Another shot, check your levels. Make sure what you're getting in your audio recorder is exactly what you wanna get. What caliper is this next gun? Nine mil. Nine mil, okay. It's a nine mil XD, four and a half inch barrel. Okay. I cannot stress this enough. Every single time you change a gun, every single time you change a caliber, make sure changing the metadata in your recorder or taking notes of what the file name was in your recorder as to what gun was being filmed. So if you can save that, something like sound effect, nine millimeter, indoors, dot wave, that file is gonna be way more useful to you than just nine millimeter dot wave. Still nine millimeter? Uh, yeah, that was all nine. Okay, are you switching the caliper?
Well, that is going to wrap it up for us. This episode has been a lot of fun to shoot. It's been a blast, and I can barely hear myself as I'm yelling at you guys into the camera. But if you like content like this, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell for notifications, okay? Down in that comment section below, tell us what we should make our next couple of videos about. We like to dive down in there and pull content for future episodes. I'm Andrew from D Microphones. Thank you for watching.